Let's, at this stage, just tie up some loose ends with regards to differentiation because all of the questions we've looked at so far have used the conventional uh, y and x. Um, but of course, once we start to use the methods of differentiation, we may be using it in a variety of situations and the letters are completely irrelevant uh, to, to the process. So that we must be used to things like this. So if it says find the derivative of h with respect to q, This is number one we're looking at. What does that mean? Well, we know what derivative means. It means differentiate. We haven't really, though, emphasized the phrase with respect. In mathematics, the phrase with respect um, is referring to uh, one of the variables. When you work out dy by dx, you're finding the derivative of y with respect to x. So if I want the derivative of h with respect to q, then I'm being asked to find dh by dq. And all I have to do is now to, in a sense, imagine that the letter q is a, really the letter x, so if I differentiate something squared, I know how to do that. I bring down the 2 and I get 8q. If I were asked to differentiate 6x with respect to x, I would get 6. If I'm asked to differentiate 6q with respect to q, I still get 6. So there's the derivative of h with respect to q written dh by dq. Now the second one is a little bit more involved. And again, it's related to an application of differentiation that we should be looking at as a, a separate lesson, but we can still do this purely as an algebraic uh, exercise. This time, it wants d2s by dt squared. Now remember, that's the second derivative, and it means differentiate twice. And instead of differentiating with respect to x, I'm being asked to differentiate with respect to t. So here's my expression for s. So if I differentiate that once, I get ds by dt. Bring down the 3, that's 6t squared. Take away 24. Differentiate again, that's what d2s by dt squared means. So if I differentiate this again, I get 12t. Now, the question could have stopped at that point. In other words, I finished there. But it doesn't stop there. It goes on to ask me something else. It says, find this when ds by dt, that's the first derivative, is 0. So what happens then if the first derivative is 0? Well, that means that 6t squared take away 24 has to be 0. Well, that's a little equation, isn't it, in t? So let's have a go at solving that. So 6t squared equals 24 divided by 6. t squared equals 4. t is plus or minus 2. Don't forget the plus or minus. So this thing in, in brackets, in, in this box here, what does it actually mean? It actually means find d to s by dt squared when t is plus or minus 2. Well, if t is plus 2, then d2s by dt squared 
equals 12 times 2, which is 24. And if t equals minus 2, d2s by dt squared equals 12 times negative 2, which is minus 24. What you'll discover later on is that very often S is standing for distance or displacement. T usually stands for time. And in fact, if you're doing a real problem, it may well be that the T equals negative 2 solution doesn't exist at all and, and we can't use it. So it may be that there's only one value uh, of d2s by dt squared. But in this question here, if it was worded like that, there are two possible answers. Okay, Mary, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x in its own, so I would put x 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. <laughs>